As you can see, it's a, a lovely winter's day. It's snowing outside. This is the view from my sewing room. I'll just move you forward and then pan it around. It's uh, going to be settling today, hopefully. Um, not too much. You've got to go work tomorrow. Uh, there you go. And isn't it gorgeous? Nice and white. Wonder if we will have a white Christmas this year. So, as promised, this is Simplicity Pattern 8152. It's a 1970s vintage apron, um, and I will be doing this one here. Um, this is a this is where I got the textile from. Same as before that I said was Textile Express. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, and it's a called Kaleidoscope. I think it's so beautiful. It's very Christmassy. And um, I have got the red Biden tape. I'm not sure if I've got enough. If not, I have got green. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. So um, I'll go and lay it out and cut it out and then I'll come back. On your pattern, you'll have different cutting layouts and different ways of uh, laying out on the fabric. You must iron your fabric and iron your pattern pieces. Uh, mine's uh, uh, B and um, it says here A and B and then it gives a layout pattern for naps or 45 inches and a 60 inch uh, material. Um, there are different ways of laying out you'll learn that as you go along um, mine's, I've got extra material so I'm not that worried about it um, but once you've done that cut your pieces iron your fabric iron your pattern pieces then lay them out uh, I've got to cut two of the pocket two for the belt and one for the body which obviously is on the fold line so when it opens out it's underneath and on top and I've got another piece uh, further down there uh, that you can't see it's the other end of the table that was for the fold line it's just over the end of that table so basically I've only got four pattern pieces so that hopefully this will be quite simple uh, so let's uh, cut out uh, put all your uh, marks, circles and um, everything that you can see on the pattern it tells you to transfer onto your material and then we'll come back so there's all my pattern pieces cut out I'm just transferring the marks there's only four uh, but I have noticed that pattern all over the pattern it's saying I'm not sure if we can get that in focus. A quarter of an inch in seam allowance, and that's all over the pattern except for the tie belts, which says three eighths inch seam allowance. So obviously now I'm going to read everything on the uh, where it says general directions on the first pattern pattern piece uh, general directions you read all that because it'll explain what everything means in relation to this pattern so and then I'm just going to transfer my dots here and another couple of places and uh, then we'll be ready to go for the first clue If you read through the instructions on apron B, which then tells you to do all of apron A omitting the ruffles, um, it the three eighths of an inch and a quarter of an inch, the three eighths of an inch is on the tie belt, which is already transferred over to this, so you don't have to remember that one because it actually reminds you. And the quarter of an inch 
is uh, actually the binding because uh, this pattern has binding all the way on the outside plus round the neck uh, so therefore that's what the quarter and inch uh, it on the pattern is written all on the edges for so you don't have to remember that one because you know that bias binding goes on a quarter of an inch onto a raw edge the first instructions are with right size together stitch front number one to apron back number three at shoulder seams matching the notches and then press so this is the shoulder seams this will be five eighths of an inch seam allowance Right sides together, of course. Five eighths of an inch. Should have gone back on the other one, so we just reverse just to secure it a bit more. Take the spin out and then go across. next section says apply bias tape to upper outer edges of apron as shown etc etc well this is bias tape um, so what I should be doing I should be doing this if you need any instructions on bias tape then go to professor pincushion on YouTube and put in bias tape anything you need to know professor pincushion will have the answer to anything uh, appertaining to patterns and making things up. So I'll come back when I've done this section. As you can see I've now bound the majority of the places but I um, hand stitched mine at the back so that's why it took me quite some time and I also ran out of um, red so I had to use green, I've got plenty of green so that was good so there you go, so I've got red and green it's a good job it's Christmas and it's got red and green in the pattern uh, so there you go, and the next thing is to do the tie um, the tie it says it's got one shape to end the tie uh, like an arrow and the other one where the circles are you probably can't see them on the camera but too large and a small you leave that open but you turn it half lengthways and you sew from the shaped end all the way down to the other but leaving the other end open and, uh, and then I assume you turn it inside out let's just do that now and it's Three eighths of an inch. Uh, so I need to just do that. Uh, leaving the one with the dots open, uh, then you turn it right side out, you do the same to the other side. Right, once you've turned and pressed uh, your belt tie, done that to both of them, then just place it as the picture tells you, just on the inside and just baste across because then you're going to put bias binding over this, so that'll, that'll hold that in and hide that uh, basting line. Do that on both sides. Also, uh, with your the ends at the back, so this is your neck hole and the bit that goes across your back, as, as also what the picture says, 
uh, I turned over, it isn't very clear actually, so I turned over 3 eighths of an inch and put a basting stitch in and then I turned that over and it doesn't tell you how long I, I, I put, I think that's about 2 inches um, I won't know if it's right until I've actually finished I can always take that bit out and readjust it uh, and then sewn again. I think you could make that neater if you think about it. I've got two rows of stitches. I might even have a go at doing something different myself before I finish. Uh, but then moment you need to form a loop and in that loop is where I'll just find it here the end of this goes through so this needs to be thread in there, but I'm going to do the other one, do the bias bind in, and then all we've got left to do is uh, the pocket. Everything on the body is now done, and I'm just about to do the pocket. Um, it's press over a quarter of an inch, and then press over again. And obviously there's the right side, this is the way I, I see it anyway. Put your bias tape on and then obviously wrap it around uh, the, the uh, reverse. So you put it on the front and then obviously like bias tape, you turn it round. Now I'm not going to hand sew this because what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay it down on the body and then, because you're not going to see, so I'm going to make my life easier and then I'm going to stitch in the ditch all the way in and attach it to the apron at the same time as securing the bias tape. So I've just got one more to do and then we'll have a go at putting it and finding where it goes on the body. My pins, my pockets are pinned and just to go like that, I used absolutely shadows of um, pins just to make sure that it's not going to move anywhere. Just on the edge of the bias tape, that's where I'll be stitching. So machine down a bit. Oh, that's not very slow, is it? <laughs> Pulling the pins out as I go. Number two, that's both on. Uh, right, right, we're finished. So I'll just put it on the mannequin, then we'll come back. And there you can see the, fin the finished article, and um, I've still got the cardigan on the mannequin from when I did the 1940s apron, and uh, I've put the uh, hands in the pockets, and I think it looks quite effective. <laughs> 
Um, I thoroughly enjoy making this. There's a lot of um, hand sewing if you're going to hand sew the binding um, at, at, at the reverse, which I feel more comfortable with, then nothing shows at the front that shouldn't be there. If you're very good at binding, this will only take you a couple hours from start to finish. It took me a lot longer, obviously. Um, I'll just turn it round and uh, then you can see the back. 1970s made in a Christmas fabric another one for my daughter she can wear it Christmas day while she's cooking the Christmas dinner and actually uh, I think this is a double I love the fabric kaleidoscope and uh, there you go Absis absolutely smashing I thoroughly enjoyed it let me just turn it round again there you go then uh, that's the 1940s I've done and now this is the apron for the 1970s uh, yesterday I made my daughter a Christmas uh, tree skirt um, the reason I didn't film that is because I actually got that from Professor Pincushion it was so easy and so easy to understand and so easy to make that I, I wouldn't put it in. just go to Professor Pincushion Anyway, there you go, 1970s. Takes me back to my childhood. <laughs> Have fun. Good night, everyone.